for patients that develop CMV infection, currently we have uh, gancyclovir or the oral form of gancyclovir, which is called valgancyclovir. And the majority of patients can be treated with this medication. Uh, patients that have very low blood counts, the main side effect of valgancyclovir is neutropenia. And so patients that cannot tolerate valgancyclovir are treated with another CMV antiviral that is called foscarnet. Uh, this antiviral is uh, administered only by vein and is, uh, is causing renal toxicity. For this reason, we would like to have more uh, better non-toxic drugs for treatment of CMV. Uh, currently, there is a marimbavir, which is undergoing a phase three clinical trials for preemptive therapy of CMV. And also importantly, for patients that develop a resistant CMV or CMV that is refractory to valgancyclovir. Uh, Maribavir has activity against these CMV strains and is also currently being uh, studied in a phase three clinical trial for these infections. It is uh, an exciting time in the field of CMV. We have known for some time that CMV infections have an adverse impact on survival after transplantation, stem cell transplantation. For the first time, we have an approved drug to prevent CMV infection in CMV seropositive patients. Letermovir was approved at the end of last year and is the first drug that became available to prevent such infections in seropositive transplant patients in the first 100 days after transplant. Well, for now, we have uh, Letermovir, uh, so it's either giving an antiviral for the time that the patients are at risk until their immune system uh, is reconstituted after transplant, or alternative, there are modalities to try and improve the immune system faster, and those are still under exploration. Uh, so um, CMV-specific cells is one of them, vaccination is another one, and other broader responses such as the modulation by the microbiome, or even perhaps finding agents that are less immunosuppressants that could be used to enhance immunity against CMV.